Imagier.net présente French lesson. So hi everyone and welcome to your French lesson. So in this lesson we'll discover together how to put um, a before two double consonants and the rule goes like that. So before two double consonants like RR, SS, TT, LL, NN, you don't have to put an accent on E to produce the sound E, okay? Because normally if you want to produce this E sound, uh, the easiest way and the most common way is to put this uh, accent grave here, okay? But then remember that if you get two double consonants like RR, SS, TT, LL, NN, you don't have to put an accent on E, okay? So we'll see a few examples now and the first one, so you've got E, and then you get the double consonant R here, okay? So you get the sound R, R, okay? So the word goes like ter, ter, okay? Second example here, you get E and then double S. And then same thing, so the sound produced will be E, 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 so you get S, S, okay? And the word mess, mess. Okay, next example, here you get a uh, double T and then et, et, okay, and the word poulette, poulette, all right, next one, e uh, and then double L, 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 okay, and then you get the word like appel, appel, all right, and the last one here, e uh, and then double N, 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 and then here, well, you combine it with E here, so you will have this Yen, Yen, okay, so the full word goes like Indienne, Indienne, okay, so let's repeat them one more time. Terre, Mess, Poulette, Appel, Indienne, okay? Okay, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye. Imagier.net présente French lesson. So hi everyone and welcome to your French lesson. In this lesson, we'll try to discover together how E is behaving when it's before two different consonants. So let's see the rule now. If you hear the sound E before two different consonants, then you will write E without an accent, okay? So even if you get the sound E, okay, remember that if you get two consonants after, then you will only put this E uh, without any accent on the top, okay? So let's see a few examples now. The first one, so if you if you have this combination E, uh, R, and then another consonant after, like in this case, you get L here, Remember, no accent, but still, you will pronounce it like E, E. So it's really open, you know, E, okay? So the word goes like perle, perle, all right? So even if you don't have an accent, you open it E, 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 perle, all right? Second example, E, S, and then the consonant we've got after this S is T, okay? So you open it, vest. Veste, okay, veste, all right. Next example, it's E, C, okay, and then the consonant you get after is T, okay, so lecture, lecture, all right. So let's see them one more time. Perle, veste, lecture, okay, so remember E uh, before two consonants, even if you pronounce it E, eh, then you don't put an accent. Okay, that's it. It was a short lesson. I'm sure and I hope everything was clear for you. Okay, have a nice day. Bye bye. Imagier.net présente French lesson. So hi everyone and welcome to your French lesson. And the rule that we will discover together
in this lesson is M instead of N. So let's see how it goes. So before the letters B, P and M, you will put the letter M instead of N, okay? So it may sound <laughs> or look a bit weird like that. Don't worry, I've been putting some uh, examples to make it clear. Well, basically it does apply to these combinations of N with a vowel, okay? So when you get A N, A N, O N, and then E N. So technically before these letters, I mean the letters that we saw, B, P, and M, well, A N, a N, O N, and E N cannot be placed. Okay, so that was the, the idea. The idea is to remove this N here, here, and to replace it with M, like that. Okay, but then the interesting thing is that the sound doesn't change. Okay, so as we pronounce this A N, en, we will pronounce this A M, en as well. A N en, a M en. Okay, so it's the same pronunciation. Remember these two ones, and then O N on, O M on. Okay, so it will be the same. E N un, E M un. Okay, so let's see a few examples now. So remember the first example that we had was A N en, A M en. Okay, so. In that case, we've got this word, am, en, poule, en poule. Okay, second example, am, en, and then ch, chan, chambre. Okay, and then am, en, jean, jambe. All right, so if you listen carefully, basically you just hear this nasal sound, as we say, you know, this an sound, en poule. So you don't hear any M, okay? Chambre, jambe. All right, so let's see the other examples with en. En, well, basically it's the same sound as previously, it's en, okay? And then em, en. In that case, you get this tan, tempête, okay, tempête, all right, and then here, same thing, en, embrasser, embrasser, okay, and then here, en, emmener, emmener, all right, so let's see them one more time, tempête, embrasser, Emmener. Okay, so let's see the other examples that we've got here. O N, so remember, on, 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 on. Okay, so it really goes in your uh, in your nose, so don't be afraid to exaggerate a little bit at the beginning. On, on, okay. And then O M, well, it's the same sound, on, okay. So you get this pompe, pompe, okay, and then tombe, tombe, and here, ombre, ombre, okay, so let's see them one more time, pompe, tombe, ombre, all right, and then the last uh, round of examples we've got, it was with the combination of the vowel i, so i n goes like un, 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 so, EM, same thing, un, all right, timbre, timbre, and here, simple, simple, okay, timbre, simple, all right, so that's it for this rule, I hope it was clear for you, have a great day, bye bye. Imagier.net présente French lesson. So hi everyone and uh, welcome to this French lesson. In this lesson we will focus on the sound g, g. So that's the way we will write it like that. G, g. Okay, so let's start now. So to write the sound g, 
you get two options. So we'll see the first one. So you'll put G before the letters A, O, U, R, L. And only these letters. Okay, so we'll see a few examples now. So let's check the first one in this example. So you can see that you've got a accent aigu there, and then you've got the vowel A, okay, and between the two, you get this G letter, okay? And so you will pronounce this word legal, okay? Legal. The second example we've got here, so we've got R here, and then we've got O here. So if you check, it was the second letter that we stated previously. So you will pronounce the word cargo. Okay, cargo, go, cargo. All right. Next example, you've got this vowel E, and then you've got the vowel U here. Okay, so remember, G, U will give you the sound G, G. Okay, so you get the word figure, figure. Okay, next example, E here and then R, E, okay, so remember if you've got this G letter combined with R here, you will, you will get, sorry, the sound GR, GR, okay, you've got E, GR, so you get the word TIGRE, TIGRE, okay, and the last one, G plus L, okay, so you get gl, gl, règle, règle, okay, so let's see them one more time, légal, cargo, figure, tigre, règle, okay, so it was the first possibility. But then, of course, we've got another way to write the sound g -g 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 here. And here it is. So you will put G U before the letters E, E accent aigu, E accent grave, I, Y. Okay, so let's see a few examples now. The first one so here you get E and then you've got this vowel E. So as we said here, you should pronounce it G, G. Okay, so you get the word fatigue, fatigue. Okay, second possibility here, you've got this E uh, accent aigu. So remember this E uh, accent aigu is pronounced E, E. Okay, and so you get the word conjugué conjugué. Okay. Next example, you've got the vowel i here. Okay, so you will get the sound gi, gi. All right, and then you've got this d, gid, gid. All right, and the last one, another example with this i, gi, gi, guitar. All right, so let's see them one more time. The first one, Fatigue, conjugué, guide, guitare. I hope it was clear for you. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Imagier.net présente French lesson. So hi everyone and welcome to your French lesson. In this lesson we'll try to see how to write the sound y -y 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 <laughs> at the beginning of a syllable. Okay, so let's see how to write the sound y -y. Okay, so you will write it e -l -l, okay? e -l -l, after the vowel A or after the vowels O, U, remember when you combine these two vowels, you get the sound U, U, okay? So that's the rule, E, L, L after A or after U, okay? So let's see a few examples now. So in the first case, when you've got this A vowel, okay? So you just put this E, L, L, 
Okay, remember the sound is y-y-y-y-y. Okay, so you get this word and it's mayo, mayo. Okay, mayo. All right. Second example here, same thing, e-l-l. The sound is y-y-y-y. Okay, so you get ka, caillou, caillou. Okay, mayo, caillou. All right. So second. Uh, category, sorry. O U goes like OO. All right. OO. The same thing here. So you've got this E L L. Ye, ye, ye. Okay. Rouillé. Rouillé. All right. And then same thing here. E L L. Ye, ye, ye. Mouillé. Mouillé. Okay. So I, of course I tend to insist a little bit. But then let's see how they go normally. So rouillé. Mouillé. Okay, so let's see them one more time. Mayo, caillou, rouillé, mouillé. All right, so of course we're talking about French language, so we've got some exceptions. Remember that in some cases, after e and after e, you will have to pronounce the sound e. Or the sound e plus e, so the sound e. Okay, so let's see the examples here. So you've got e, and in that case, well, you will have to pronounce e and then the y y y. Okay, so you get fi, fi. All right. Next uh, example is papillon, papillon. Okay, so. You have to pronounce this E, okay? Well, technically, it would be quite difficult to pronounce the word without pronouncing this E. So, fille, papillon, okay? And then when you combine this E with E, then you get the sound E, okay? So, technically, it does mean that you don't pronounce the E, but it is included in this uh, pronunciation with the E. So, it's E, okay? So, you get this abeille, abeille, and then Oreille, oreille. All right, so let's see them one more time. Fille, papillon, abeille, oreille. Okay, have a great day. Imagier.net présente French lesson. So hi everyone and welcome to your French lesson and in this lesson we'll try to see how to write the sound y at the end of a word. So how do we write the sound y? Okay? For feminine words, so that's the important thing, feminine words and verbs, you will write it like e l l e after the vowel a or after the vowels O, U, remember when you combine these two vowels, you get the sound OU. All right, so after A or after OU, you will write it E, L, L, E to get the sound Y. Okay, so let's see a few examples now. So with the vowel A here, so we've got T, A and then E, L, L, E, so this sound is Y, so we get the word TAILLE, TAILLE. Okay? So same thing here, you get this e l l e, so y y sound, and then the full word goes like ekaille, ekaille, okay. So we'll see now how it works with the u sound. Well, basically it's the same. You get this e l l e, so y y, grenouille, grenouille, okay, and then for these this verb. I l l e y y mouille okay il se mouille all right so let's repeat them taille écaille grenouille il se mouille all right so remember that in some cases after i and after e you will have to pronounce the sound e or the sound so when you combine this this uh, vowel e plus the vowel e you get the sound e 
All right, so let's see now a few examples. So with this E vowel, then you get the I, okay, but then you will pronounce this E, so you get FAMILLE, okay, FAMILLE, all right, same thing here, GENTILLE, okay, so remember to pronounce this E, GENTILLE, okay, and in that case here, remember, E plus E, you get the sound E, really, don't, don't, don't be afraid to open, you know, to make the sound fly. Surveille, surveille. So really it's open, this A sound, okay? Same thing here. Bouteille, bouteille, okay? So, famille, gentille, surveille, bouteille. All right, that's it for this lesson. Have a nice day, bye-bye. Imagier.net présente French lesson. So hi everyone and welcome to your French lesson. And in this lesson we will try to discover together how to pronounce the sound j in French. Okay, so j, j, j. try it yourself. J, okay, so we've got two options to pronounce or to write, sorry, this sound j. And here is the first one. You will put the letter j before the letters A, O, U. Okay, so J before A, O, U. Okay, so let's see a few examples now. So I've been choosing only words that uh, start with the J, but well, it doesn't affect anything. It could be in the middle of the word as long as it's uh, before these vowels A, O, and U. Okay, so the first one goes like that, and it's J, A, so you get the sound Ja, Ja, okay, and the full word goes like Java, okay, Java, all right. Second option, J, O, so Jo, Jo, okay, and the full word goes like Joli, Joli, okay, and the last one, J and U, you will get the sound J, Okay, and the full word goes like jupe, jupe. Okay, so remember, you don't really insist on the final uh, jupe. Okay, so let's read them one more time. Java, joli, jupe. Okay, so now we've got uh, second options. How to write the sound j, especially if you want to combine this j with the letters e. Uh, E, so it's E accent aigu, but then you pronounce it E, okay? And then here, E accent grave, you pronounce it E, okay? Here the vowel E, and then this Y, which is pronounced like E here, okay? So let's see them one more time. E, 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 whoops, <laughs> and then E, okay? So with these letters, Okay, remember to put G before them to get the sound J, J. Okay, so we'll see a few examples. The first one here, so you get G and then this uh, R, the sound goes like E, E. Okay, so you get the full word danger, danger. Okay, second option here, you get this G and then this accent, uh, accent aigu, it goes like E. Échanger, échanger, okay, so same j sound here, okay, same thing here, g, i, so you will get the sound j, j, okay, agile, agile, all right, agile, and then here, another example with this i sound, or vowel in that case, g, i, j, okay, fragile, Fragile. Okay, so let's say, let's see them one more time. Danger. Échanger. Agile. Fragile. Okay, and at my normal French speed, danger. Échanger. Agile. Fragile. Okay, so I hope this lesson was useful. Have a great day. Bye bye. 
Imagier.net présente French lesson. So hi everyone and welcome to your French lesson. In this lesson, we will try to discover together how to write uh, the sound k k. Okay. So if you want to write the sound k, you've got two options. So we'll see the first one. The first one will be to put the letter c before the letters. A, O, U, R, L. Okay, so remember, you will have to put this C before these letters. So we'll see a few examples now. The first one, C plus A. So this combination will give you the sound K. Okay, so the full word will go like cabin. Okay, cabin. Second example here, well, you get this vowel O combined with the other vowel U, and remember it gives you the sound OU, okay, but then remember that the C is still K, K, COU, COULEUR, okay, COULEUR, all right. Third example, you get the sound U, okay, so if you combine it with the C, it will give you Q, okay, and the full word goes like Culture, culture. All right. Now, if we combine it with R, so C plus R gives you cr, cr. Okay. So now you will get the sound crab, crab. Okay. C R A cra, crab. All right. And the last example, C L will give you cl. Cl, okay, clair, clair, all right. So let's see all the words one more time. The first one, cabine, couleur, culture, crabe, clair, okay. But then we've got another way to write the sound k especially if we combine it with other letters and these vowels especially so e e accent aigu remember it's the sound e e accent grave it's the sound e and then i and y y remember that you will pronounce it like i okay so before these letters you will have to put this Q, U, okay? So two letters just to get the sound K, K, okay? So we'll see now a few examples. The first one here, so you've got this letter, the vowel E, okay? And then Q, U before, so you get K, K, okay? And the full word goes like antique, antique. Mm -hmm. uh, other example, E accent aigu, remember, as I said, it was the sound E, E, okay? So you get this sound K, K, okay? The full word goes like choqué, choqué, all right? And, uh, well, last example with this E sound, okay? So in that case, you get this E letter, okay? So it goes like qui, 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 all right? And the full word goes like antiquité. Okay, antiquité. So let's see them one more time. Antique, choqué, antiquité. Okay, I hope this lesson was useful. Have a great day. Bye bye. Imagier.net présente French lesson. So hi everyone and welcome to your French lesson. In this lesson we will try to discover together how to write the sound s in French. Okay, so well basically we'll have two options. The first one is that you have to write two s, okay, between two vowels. So we'll see a few examples now. The first one, you've got the vowel e here and then you get the vowel o here. So remember that you will have to put two S here and then you'll get the sound 
boisson. Okay? So you can hear that it's really the s, -s, -s sound. Boisson. Boisson. Okay? Second example, you've got the vowel O and then here you've got the vowel E. Okay? So you put SS and you get the sound possible. Possible. All right? And now, second possibility to write the sound S is here. Only one S if it is between a vowel and a consonant. So let's see a few examples now. Okay, here you see that you get this E vowel before and then you get the T, so a consonant here. Okay, and then between them you get S. Okay, so you will get the sound artist. Okay, so you can hear that it's really a s, -s, -s sound, artist. Okay, and here, well, it's the opposite because you start with a consonant and then after that you get a vowel. Okay, but still, it's the same way of pronouncing it. So it's s. Okay, and then you get the sound dance. All right, so artist and then dance. Okay, so that's it for the sound s. s. I hope it was useful. Have a great day. Bye bye. Imagier.net presente a French lesson. So hi everyone and welcome to your French lesson. In this lesson we will try to see together how to write the sound z. Z. Okay, are you ready for that? Okay, so we've got two options and the first one is that you will have to start with z. Z, Z at the beginning of a word. Okay, so let's see a few examples and then we've got the first one. Well, Z combined with the E accent grave. E accent grave is, so I don't know if you remember, it's pronounced E. Okay, so really open E. Okay, so you get the sound Z, Z here. So the full word goes like zebra. Okay, zebra. All right, and then another example, so it's the vowel O, okay, so same thing. If you want to combine it with O, you will get the sound ZO, 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 all right. So I tend to insist a little bit on it just to, to make it clear for you, okay. But then the full word goes like ZONE, ZONE, okay. So let's see them again, ZEBRE and then ZONE, okay. So let's see now the second possibility to write the sound Z. And it goes like, you will put one S between two vowels, okay? So we've got the examples here already, okay? So you've got the vowel A and then you've got the vowel E here, okay? Whoops! <laughs> and you've got only one S between the two. Okay, so it goes like, casino, okay? S-E-Z, casino, casino, casino. All right, and then here you've got E and E, so one S, same rule, Z, choisir, choisir, okay, so let's see them one more time, casino, choisir, all right, so I hope this lesson was useful, have a great day, bye bye.